to the tomato world is the Indigo series of tomatoes that were developed by Oregon State University's breeding program. And this series has been selected for high antioxidant levels. And the tomatoes get that through anthocyanin. Anthocyanin is also what happens to give these tomatoes their purple color, fairly unique among the world of tomatoes. Uh, anthocyanins and antioxidants are reported to have very uh, good be health benefits, especially in fighting disease. So um, vegetables with and also fruits with that uh, anthocyanin has been highly sought after and in the tomato world especially because this is one of the top five fruits consumed in our country. Now this variety is called Indigo Rose. It produces uh, one to two inch fruits, somewhat small. Um, the fruits will have this purple coloration anywhere that the sun hits them, but fruits that are shaded below the leaf canopy are gonna remain green until they ripen. And ripening has been uh, a trick for us. Because of the purple color, we didn't have the usual cues as it shifts from green to red to tell us that they're ripe. So we uh, had harvested a few immature tomatoes that didn't taste too good. Just like any other tomato, they need to fully mature to develop their sugar content and their best flavor. So when we still see green on the bottom, that's not a ripe tomato. What we want to do is wait for the bottoms to get more of the orangey, rosy color that we see on our normal tomatoes. And as that happens, you could see this purple color is not so uh, vibrant anymore. It turns to more of a brownish purple. That's a good ripe tomato. It also is a little bit softer uh, than the unriped ones. In addition to indigo rose, we've also grown indigo blueberries in our garden, and that variety produces clusters of cherry tomatoes, so a bit smaller but also very flavorful. So once we've perfected our harvesting techniques, we found um, that this variety is still very uh, flavorful. The anthocyanin has no impact on flavor whatsoever. Um, and we've also found it to be a very good producer in the garden. Now we do see some disease, and we've had that on every tomato we've grown this year, thanks to you know, the high humidity and rainfall, uh, but we'll take that. Uh, these varieties are bred through traditional breeding, they're not GMOs, and they're all open pollinated. So you could collect seeds from this year's crop and grow those out next year. Mm -hmm.